title of my talk is behind me. I don't even remember it's long, okay? <laughs> but this talk is based on research funded by the NAST Research Fellowship, for which I did it uh, last year. And I would like to give you the message in words rather than in equations or anything else. So whatever you see behind me is only supposed to be subliminal uh, is, uh, suggestions to you. And I will not talk about what's behind me, okay? <laughs> so in our country, we depend on major infrastructures such as transportation systems, energy systems, health system, a communication system, and so on. For example, we have communication satellite. Uh, and this satellite transmits information to us about our land, about farms, about the ma ma amount of moisture in some of the uh, farms, etc. But suppose that we have our usual typhoons, earthquakes, etc. The, the typhoons occur every year, right? So what if the station below that communicates with the satellite is damaged? And now what we don't have the usual uh, messages for our farms, we just garb, we have garbled messages, okay? So, your question is, what can science and technology do to mitigate this disaster? So my talk has to do with merging artificial intelligence and control science and technology with science-based models so that we can address the disasters, okay? So, uh, the artificial intelligence that I will mention briefly later, I only have eight minutes left probably, or seven. Uh, the, the artificial intelligence will detect that one of the links, feedback links, got destroyed. And so what we have in the work that I did is to, in, is to switch in a pre-computed controller so that it will work for the remaining remnant remaining system of that communication satellite. So with the installation of the new control, what is left there will work again. Think now of another situation where we have a power system. We have electric power everywhere. And suppose lightning strikes, one of the towers is hit. Behind me is a suggestion, that's not a tower. Those are just lamps. But Concentrate on me, have co eye contact with me, subliminal messages behind me. So suppose then, lightning strikes, and one of those uh, transmission lines is down, shorted. So Meralho or one of the providers will shut down the system, okay? But the question is, can we restore service to some of them? So with the aid of AI and control technology, indeed we can. So we can restore service to part of that. Now think of water supply, another possibility. We have clean water for drinking, but when we have floods, we have contamination seeping in. Some polluted water gets mixed in with the uh, drinking water. So we will have sensors there to notify us in advance that pollution seeped, seeped in, sorry. And if that pollution is there, can we do something instead of waiting for people to get cholera, whatever? Don't wait for people to get sick. Do something already, okay? So those are examples. So I mentioned AI already, or artificial intelligence. What is it, generally? Artificial intelligence is the ability of a machine to think like a human. Basically, that's what you have to remember. What is artificial intelligence? Decision-making capability of machines, okay? One example of that is a neural network, artificial neural network 
not quite the same as a real biological neuron, but computer uh, parts. So, but what is that for? I would like to use the artificial neural network or any other artificial intelligence to tell me what disaster occurred. In the case of that satellite, I want that artificial intelligence to tell me one of your links is broken. And then we switch in the correct uh, control. Okay, so, but behind all of that will be a big science of control. Now, if, you, if one tries to apply artificial intelligence directly with no feedback, it will be further disaster. So the, per the, the, the purpose of my research last year, funded by a fellowship, was to show that you can still make use of artificial intelligence, but you have to augment it with control modeling, science-based modeling, and control technology, which is highly developed. So, if you do that, <clears throat> wouldn't you want to have that? Of course we want to have something like that. But from yesterday's talk, we already know, we have 17 goals for sustainability, etc. Much of that would be interrupted every year. Wouldn't we want to dispel or reduce, at least mitigate, the effect of disasters? So the point here is that, yes, we can, and perhaps it could be integrated with our program, maybe a DOST program, for the entire uh, mitigation of disasters. And beyond that, perhaps, if you agree, we can, because my fellowship supported me. I have no lab, I'm retired, I have, no I have my own computer, but not supplied by NAS, and I have no access to anything. So this is really just an overview of what can be done, okay? So, as I said, we always have disasters every year, we have floods, and the question is, can we apply artificial intelligence plus control to deal with the dynamic instabilities of our infrastructures while waiting for permanent solutions? The answer is yes, and I hope perhaps the OST or others could now say, yes, that's an important problem. Let's proceed with that. A final remark, we are overwhelmed by AI. Everywhere in the world, there's AI. The major companies, Amazon, Feedback, you name it, Microsoft, they have hired all the AI experts in the world, including professors in the US, Europe, etc. So we cannot compete, right? But I think in the area of disaster mitigation, we can have an edge and do something like that because we need it anyway for our own uh, attainment of our sustainable goals. Thank you.